an Ottawa e-commerce company can make a claim no others in the capital can. Shopify has been named one of the 10 most innovative online retail businesses in the world. Our consumer reporter, Michael LeBurn, tells us why. That sounds pretty good. It's a big deal. Mm -hmm. You know, in six years, Shopify has grown from three employees to more than 100 employees. Now, they've just moved into a new and bigger world headquarters right here in the Byward Market. And as you'll see, it's not a typical workplace. They do things a little differently here at Shopify World Headquarters in downtown Ottawa. It's an office full of playful, creative, bright young entrepreneurs who design online stores for big and small companies around the world. We have more than 20,000 active stores right now, active customers on Shopify. In 2011, those stores had about $275 million in gross merchandise value. I'm Arlene from Sambat, and what we do best is make bats. Some of their customers, Sambat, General Electric, the Foo Fighters, the Angry Birds toy. Fast Company magazine named Shopify one of the top 10 most innovative in the world because they can serve as big and small for a fraction of the price others charge. I think what Shopify is doing is disruptive. I think we're taking uh, the e-commerce model and flipping it on its head. Uh, we're providing merchants, entrepreneurs, um, anyone that wants to sell a product with a very robust platform. And we're doing it all for $29 a month. Family business for over five generations, but translating that online. Its newest customer, an Ottawa institution, Italian food retailer La Bottega. After 17 years, the Nicastro family is now selling online. We get a lot of requests from uh, people to open stores, Canada. It happens on a weekly basis, Orleans, the suburbs. I mean, but we're here. We're happy in the market. Um, but if we can access these customers through an online platform, uh, then for us, it's a win-win situation. What we did is we went in there and we showed them how easy it is to get online, and we gave them the tools in which to continue running their store on their own without our help. And so it's a great example of a traditional business that has gone from brick and mortar to brick and click. So what's the company worth? Well, they're not public, so they're not saying. What we do know is that they treat their employees very well. Many of these young computer wizards make close to six figures right out of school. The company provides catered lunches five days a week, and every employee gets a free membership to one of the city's best gyms. Graham, they call it work-life balance. Nice. Good for them. I mean, that's great, and it's, it's a great success story right here, really right? Is. A, a really local is. story. That's great. It sells right around the world, and we want to remind everybody to drop us a line at uh, uh, ctvottawa.ca and uh, drop us a line as well to uh, Consumer Alert because we want to hear your story ideas. Okay, Mike, thanks. Thank you, man. That's great.